Hi everybody, it's Paul Bordillon here from Claristat eLearning. I am passionate about helping you to enhance your life through the joy of playing the clarinet by sharing step by step the secrets that I have discovered that fire a truly fulfilling and wondrous friendship between human and clarinet. If you want to know more about me, the journey I've been on, and why I'm so confident that I can help you, please watch my Who is Paul Bordillon video. In today's video, I outline the four most vital fundamentals, in my opinion, of good clarinet playing. Now you may ask, well what is good clarinet playing? And that is really your definition uh, that's important, but for me, it's about sounding good and being able to express ourselves um, and also making it easy and fun so that it's not too much like hard work uh, and also so that people including yourself want to listen to it obviously the clarinet is great for many different styles and i'll just uh, give you a demo of a couple of styles classical and jazz So, from Mozart to Misty and everything that came thereafter, the fundamentals of technique are vital to being able to express yourself. Um, I'm going to go on in my next video to outline these four fundamentals in further detail, but let me very briefly introduce them to you now. Number one is posture. And that is all about how we stand or how we sit, making sure that our lungs are well supported and there's freedom to breathe without constraint. That's number one. Uh, number two is about um, breathing, about how we produce the air, um, because obviously this is a wind instrument and it needs a really strong and free flow of air to be able to produce a good sound. Um, and that's all about using the diaphragm which is about here and below imagining that your lungs are in your belly rather than up here in your chest which produces tension and, and the movement of the shoulders which doesn't help our clarinet playing. The third fundamental for me is the embouchure that's the muscles of the mouth the French word la bouche is the muscles of the mouth and this needs a really uh, firm muscular a surrounding for the reed and the mouthpiece. Any um, floppy muscles with cheeks puffing out or chin collapsing upwards will really uh, affect the focus and the and the um, beauty of the sound. So number three, the embouchure, and then number four, hand position. The clarinet is designed for a natural hand position. Uh, you see a lot of people playing with uh, knuckles straightened or fingers flat or fingers at a right angle to the clarinet which is not how it's designed because that then impedes your access to all of these keys um, that are also having to be played as well as covering the holes we need to be able to access all the baby finger ring finger baby finger keys and the top ones and the side keys and so the hand position makes all of that um, a whole lot easier as i said in my next videos i will break these down into much more detail and i'll give you some exercises for each of them um, for you to check that you're on the right path really to getting these four fundamentals i would say to you that getting these in place nice and early will help you exponentially later on bad habits are really hard to break 
and i'm experiencing it with some of my students who i've inherited um they're having to work really hard and at, at the moment they are but they'd be so much further on if they just sorted these um fundamentals out earlier so um look out for those next four videos breaking down these four fundamentals into much more detail for you and also if you could please like this video and please pop uh, any uh, comments or queries or questions or requests into the comments section and also subscribe to my channel see you in the next video i'm really looking forward to this journey with you